Hello everybody, my name is McLovin and we are back with Kerbal Space Program and we are in the series of Making History and the DLC Making History pack, which is just, I gotta say, is totally worth it. Sell your PlayStation or Xbox and buy a PC. Uh, next thing, we are on number 12 and this is the Mun O. Jeez, this is the best thing ever. I am sorry, guys. It is the Mun Gateway. This is what the entire thing is going to look without any other attachments after we are done. I don't really know how long this is going to take, but we will get it put together. Now, may I remind you, this is just... Like, I just built this today like just finished building the rest of it today and now we are going to take it piece by piece and launch it first thing that's going is this thing of course and that is your main core this has quite a bit of features on it we have a a manned crew opening so that way the Kerbals can like just sit and chill in here for a minute or so uh, I have a lot of another structural part just to match it, just to kind of even the weight out. But that actually connected to the big two giant orange fuel tanks, which has, which basically is going to be the refueler of this mission. And this is all going to go around the MUN. Oh, the favorite part that you're probably wondering is the repair area or the mission area. And this will actually have something go, like a rocket go in it and be put together piece by piece or, or a, I don't know. It's just, it was really cool looking and I thought of it and I'm like, I'm going to put that together. But this is going to be the refueling section of it, these two orange tanks. Um, any space station, any thing can dock on these and it will refuel by using these two things and we have yet to build a miner and like a mining tool for the moon so we're gonna load up this one um, nothing is different on it at all I literally just took it and put Mun Gateway 2 <laughs> um, <clears throat> I did do a test of uh, how this is actually going to work and um, like is it going to be more efficient for me to do this or something else so what I did was I made a very 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 small craft that had I do believe it had no it had I have it on paper right here 200 no 2410 Delta V that had uh, we're just gonna just so you guys know what we're doing here is we're gonna slap a little okay not little we're gonna slap a big uh, whatchamacallit on here we're gonna slap big booster under here so this thing doesn't weigh, actually weigh at all to little nothing like honestly you guys are probably thinking oh how the hell are you gonna get that into space it's gonna be so difficult well it's only 14 tons that's it 14 tons. Doesn't it look like it's like 50? It, it's mainly structural parts. Like there's absolutely nothing here, nothing here. I mean, nothing in here. As you can see, this one is completely empty. <laughs> but okay. The test that I did do, which was with a small spacecraft, I put it in orbit at like 80,000 meters at Kerbin and I was trying to get out of the sphere of influence of Kerbin and which it takes 950 Delta V to get out of the sphere of influence well that was all fun and games until it basically worked too well like honestly we started with 2410 Delta V and at the end of Kerbin's orbit to out of the sphere of influence was 934. And I went around the MUN and 
to get out of the sphere of influence whenever is 355 around the month. And then min miss is 223 delta V to get off of the sphere of influence of Kerbin. So that that kind of makes it even better. So I actually should have planned this out for going to min miss, but min miss is such a weird orbit that I don't think. Eh? Will this work? I don't know. What's the 330? Oh. That's the big guy. Uh, what's the 500? Okay, that's the even bigger guy. Alright, so we could just do this. And that would basically cover the entire thing. They would have way too much delta V. Uh, so we are just going to do the small Falcon 9 remake. But next thing we have to add. and uh, So yeah, I decided to do the uh, MUN as our gateway to go way farther so this is gonna help out a lot like a lot a lot um <clears throat> we already have landers so we're good on landers we just need something to go down mine the mun come back up and start refueling this space station and uh we also oh i need to add fuel tanks as in not just plain fuel tanks as in ore tanks of course I could always just empty out the ore tanks and start filling up but I need those ore tanks because I can fill up all those ore tanks so we're gonna take another payload that's gonna be separate <laughs> and that will probably be done later seeing how I just thought of that okay next thing we need is a fairing seeing how the big giant fairing doesn't work um because it's all weird i don't know if it's because it's like somewhat modded i don't know it's barely modded guys like this is literally basically done stock the only thing that's modded is kerbill engineer or no i yeah i don't have mcjab okay now that your fairing is um, let's just put this here. Okay. That will work if we stage it correctly, though. Or wait, I think it is staged correctly. Is it? I don't know. It looks... Yeah, I guess it is. And uh I guess oh yeah, duh. There's there's no there's no engines right here. <laughs> it has six thousand delta V left. This is overpowering as hell. So what we are going to do is we are gonna add a second stage so that way we can get the uh orbit where we want it instead of where it could just go. So once this thing is in orbit it's going to be easier to turn it like this. So we'll just add a rhino. Because this thing is huge. So, okay, we are all looking all good. Great. Now we need to fairing the shit out of this thing. Okay. So we need eight fairings right here. And the reason why eight, the more the merrier, guys. The more the merrier. <clears throat> okay, let's get a few more. Uh, yeah, right there. Okay, so that's just kind of supporting those. Now the nose cone's on here. We're going to have one going connecting straight up. Uh, one connecting over here and then one connecting over there uh, that'll work bam alright so I'm pretty sure that that is secure that looks secure to me I hope it looks secure to you guys cause 
you guys aren't flying it, so you don't have to deal with it. So you're probably like, ah, I'd like to watch this. This would be nice. Okay, so I do believe that we are ready to send this thing up. All right. Let's skedaddle. Hang on, hang on. Always make sure it's staged correctly before you leave. I mean, of course, you can always stage it after, but... Uh, this is going to need to be down here. That. Wait, that engine, that. And then that. Okay. Okay, the Mun Gateway 2 is ready. So we will save and we will launch. So, alright guys, this is going to be very interesting. As in, like, super interesting. The reason why is because... It looks like a bullet. <laughs> it looks huge. Like, what the heck? That looks so weird. I really hope that this thing can actually fly. Ah! No one is supposed to be on here. Damn it, Jebediah. You always try to sneak on the crafts that I don't want you to be on. Which is, like, every single one of them. So I do believe... No, we do need a pilot. So that is fine. We do need one pilot. We'll take... We'll take this one. I was thinking that we could take Valentina, but... Eh, I don't know if I want to take Valentina. Um... Yeah, we'll take Alfred. Okay. So, now we can watch. <laughs> So yeah, I totally forgot about those uh, ore tanks. That's going to be definitely needed. So once this thing is all put together and everything, we'll just add them on somewhere that we're not really using, which will basically be most of it. Most of all of everything, I guess. I'm not sure. We'll have to find out. All right. In three, two, one. Lift off of the Taco Bell. Just kidding. It kind of looks like a bell. It really does. <laughs> Alright, so it's cruising nice. It's going great. Everything looks beautiful. Just oh so beautiful. Alright, now we can start our little pitch over. Easy though. We don't want to freak it out. Because the last time I, like, I tried to lift that thing up just by, like, no fairing at all. Yeah, you're going to have to put a fairing on it just because of how weird it's shaped. So, oh. I also like to call out all the people that just cheat their shit in space and say, Oh, look. Look what I did. No, you just built it. You didn't launch it in space like this shit. You only launch, like what you can and it's like I like I understand I have a PC I could mod the shit out of the game I could basically just put this thing in space already and it'd be already done well I don't have there's no fun in that I honestly think that there is no fun in just like totally cheating every single game you can even ask my best friend every single time I have a game I play it all the way through like straight no cheating no nothing like if there is online help I will take it like, because it's online help, they offer it. It's not necessarily cheating, but of course if they give you weapons and shit, yeah, then that's kind of cheating. So, but anyway, we are getting close to separation. Nice, good, and clean separation. Now we just have a giant needle. And we are getting the wobbles, which is kind of normal for something this weirdly shaped and the best thing you could do is just kind of throttle down maybe a little bit because it's, it's stressing it out I guess that's, that's my guess I don't know I really don't so let's get rid of the fairing all right hopefully nothing broke or anything on the space station 
because that would just be very, very sad. We actually have plenty to get to the moon with this giant long one, and we have plenty to get with this one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to like fix our orbit real quick, and um, after that we're just going to stage that so we don't really have to worry about it that much anymore. Um, Alright, so let's go out into the map. Alright, and and just so you know, this is Kerbal Engineer. This little box right here. And these numbers, and these numbers. It's really just telling me every number, so I don't have to come out into the map. But I like to, because it's, it's Kerbal, guys. It's freaking Kerbal. Okay. Let's do a slow up to a full burn because we don't want to overstress it too much okay we didn't really go slow but we can't wait anymore so it's kind of just rocking back and forth uh, let's just cut off okay yeah it's definitely like that was definitely helping so we'll keep that there and then now I think we can actually slow down a little bit. Yeah, we can we can slow down just a little tad. We can slow down even more. And yeah, guys, I was so surprised when there was 2,410 in that little tiny ship that I built. And then just, like, I only used 355 Delta V of it coming... Like, I made sure I came, like, 80,000 meters, like, orbit close, just to slingshot back out. And I just boosted it right here, and it was just, oh, it was so quick. It was, like, nothing. So, actually, what we'll do is, so we don't have to worry about this next stage, is we will get rid of it now. We will boost away from it. <clears throat> And that way, that one is going to go down at about 7,000, so that one's coming back down. So now we're just going to boost. Hopefully this thing is stable enough. Okay, so we are in orbit now. So we are officially in orbit. Look at the little tail wiggling. It looks like a fish. Eh. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to get in orbit with the mun okay and this needs to be very very precise so ooh. actually I don't want to look at the Sun no I want to look at the moon thank you just really quick before we enter, I do believe we had, no, we do not have anything orbiting the moon. Okay, so that means that we're going to have to fix our inclination right now. So we can't go there just yet. I wish we could. I mean, we could still fix the inclination, but it's just going to be easier around Kerbin to do that. So... We're going to come to here. Warp here. That's ascending, so we need to go anti-normal. As normal. Haha. -ha. And, uh... Alright. So, here we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on. Go, 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 go. Go, it's struggling. Eh, 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 eh. It's having issues. Okay, so we don't really need <clears throat> where we are at. <clears throat> very small burn. Very, 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 very small. That was it. That's all we needed. Okay, so now we can go... See, because now if we say set target to space station... Where's the inclination? It's at... Is that... 0 
Wow. I think the space station might be off. Yeah, it still is, duh. I still have yet to fix it. I haven't added... <clears throat> Excuse me. What mission today? We have a mission of a new gateway. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hold on. One second, guys. Let me uh, fix this and show you guys what this thing is supposed to look like. So this is a... Whoa. <clears throat> Careful when physical timing. That's That was weird. The whole thing just started wiggling. But all right. This is a new space station gateway going around the Mun. This thing is going to open right now, and it's going to look so cool. But uh, there is more. If you look, <clears throat> if you go in the very beginning of the video, you'll actually see uh, what this thing is going to look like, and that's kind of worth it. But let's just turn on these lights, because you haven't seen the lights yet. All right, so when the bay is ready I guess it's red I mean it's just red all the time but uh, the main color of the base is gonna be like a tealish blue green and yeah so let's get going to the mun and we got two two other parts or no we got three to take there but I'm not sure if we're gonna get to all three today so we're just going to fast forward real quick over to here so we can get lined up with the MUN and get going. Thank you for returning, man. I am working on your little boat, by the way. It is not easy. The reason why it's hollow is because uh, I made it so you could dock a ship in it and just kind of have it like stored away almost. Like I, you know how I build the mini rover, mini everything. Well, I had a mini shuttle that I kind of wanted to put in there, which I thought would be like really cool if I could fit something in there, but it's going to be like really hard to do that because like I have yet to figure out what's going to be able to actually fit in there well enough to the point where it's not going to destroy it. So, okay, let's get to here to prograde. I know, I know. I'm working on your boat though. I did try it yesterday and I had a lot of issues with floating. So, yeah. Because I normally don't build boats. I build rockets. So it's, it's a change that I'm not yet used to. So, oh wait. I'm on the wrong target. There we go. Zero, zero. But when I was testing the vehicle, <clears throat> I would test it like this, and now I would, uh, I'm going to stop it, but I would keep going with it until it went out of the solar system, and that was, uh, it, it, like, 950 is the Delta V map, I, ha I used 934, so it's, it's accurate, but it's, it's like, it just depends on your ship. You can't base it off that, especially if you're like if some of your stuff is off, you don't have enough thrust to weight ratio. That that would kind of suck. And I've done that before, trust me. Where I didn't have enough thrust to weight ratio and I literally just Oh, it was annoying as hell. Let me just put it that way. It was annoying as hell. <laughs> Goodbye, Earth. I can't wait for this thing to be done. Because the main thing that's going to be the coolest thing ever is we're probably going to get to do my ELU mission that I've been wanting to do since day one. 
So we still have good connection since we are still very close, which is good. Um, we have 100%, which is awesome. So now we're going to fast forward to right here. Switch it to retrograde. There is our mobile base, or Mun base, Mo Mun Mobile One. <laughs> it's the Mun Mobile One. That was that was fun jumping out of that crater. I was telling uh, my girlfriend about it. It was quite funny. She every single time I talk about Kerbal, it's like uh, I get the eye roll and everything, and then she laughs and and then yeah. So I mean, it's 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 whatever. I get it. It's a game, but you know this game is hard as shit. So. <laughs> I told her to play it once, and she played it for a little bit, and I kept telling her what to do because she was doing it wrong. So, <laughs> so that was interesting. But alrighty, so it looks like we are nice and even with everything. So let's stay that way. Um, now we are going to do a full burn. We'll work up to a full burn and slow us down till we are in orbit around the moon. So we are really close. We are really close. We're not that close to the moon, but we are close. I don't want to be super close because it's, again, it's the moon. So it takes like nothing to get off of it, <laughs> which is good. But it's very good that it doesn't take much to get off of Kerbin, or of uh, the moon. So now what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to stop it. And now we're going to look at this number. We're going to stop it at around, I would say, I don't know. What's a good height? Is it, would, uh, I would say a hundred thousand would be fine. But, like, I do kind of want to go closer so everything's easier to get to. So, we'll get closer. We'll get to 70,000. We'll do 60. Okay, so we'll leave that at 2,000. We'll warp all the way over here. And then once this thing is set in its orbit, we are going to flew right back over there. You said a lot of stuff, so hold on one second, and I will read that. Okay, so we're going to let that go over. Oh, you didn't find it? No. Um, my Discord is the same as my gamer tag on here and on Steam. So it's Mick eleven twelve oh nine nine two. Is the uh, <clears throat> is like the personal name on the account? Well, not the account, but on the channel you could probably find it through there okay that is down far enough um, let me if you give me like two seconds I could probably just copy and paste I think I'm not sure where I would find the uh, link for it I'm still new to discord so my friend always told me to get it, and I finally got it. And he's like, fucking finally, damn it, man. Shit. All right. So let's see. Come on. Spin around real quick. We'll fix this, and then we'll head on back. <clears throat> Oh, 
I did, however, uh, put a new, what is it called? On Discord, I put a new, um, like, picture for the, um, uh, like, page or something for Kerbal. All right, that's good. 60,000, 60,000, I'm about, like, 45 off. So, okay, let's... We don't really need that engine on here anymore, but I've done this before where I didn't need the engine and then at the end I needed the engine. So we are actually going to keep that on here. Actually, you know what? No. It shouldn't, <clears throat> it shouldn't really mess it up that bad. Man, this thing is wiggly. It's because it's being controlled from there and it can't, like, move correctly. <coughs> okay, so we are going to actually do just undock. We do not need the engine anymore. Undock. We have just successfully undocked the engine. Which means we are staying right here, guys. We are staying right here. And this normal position of this space station is not straight up and down. That is not its normal position. Its normal position... I really hope that that thing is... Yeah, no. Okay. That thing is staying right with us. Why does it still look connected? That's that, that, uh, what? I don't, I, I'm, I'm really confused, guys. It says control from here, but, okay, this thing needs to go away. I think it's moving. I mean, we have no control over it. Can we move? Okay, 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 yeah, we can, we can move. Um, we can't move, like, far, I guess. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to find the way to move it, but, like, knock it out of the way. There we go. Ha-ha! Okay, this is how I thought it was stuck on there. I was like, no! Okay. So this is the original way that this space station is supposed to be. It's going to be sideways, just like this. And at first, we are going to spin it so the sun is directly on it. As of right now. Okay, and then the rest will get docked with everything else. Well, the rest will get docked on this side arm, and of course we could always put the uh, extra ore tanks right here, but who knows. We shall figure that out later. So we're gonna just set it to right here, and now we can go right on back home, because we don't need a science bay anymore. If you realize, there's no science bay on here, because we don't need it. So this is all set up and ready to go. So let's just take a little... Ooh, I'm in the wrong site for a picture, but we'll get a picture later. Okay, so let's go on back to the space station. Let's make another... Is it like dancing in space? Kind of. It is kind of like dancing in space a little bit. Time warps will fix that. <laughs> yes, it will. Time warps will fix it. It does look good. It does. And... Thank you, guys. All right, so let's see. We got this piece, so boom, go away. So now we need to pick off our other. So this is where everybody gets to see the other half of what it's supposed to look like. So we are done with this. We actually do not need it anymore, but we still are going to keep it. So how to get this chunk in space.
So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this back piece off. And we're just going to throw it away. Why? Because this is named number three. And so this doesn't have any control over it now. So now what we're going to do is make it have control over it. So we don't need this. Bye. So this is all that we're taking for the next one. Um, I probably could have just slapped it all together and launched it in one single piece, but I really highly doubted that was possible. Um, we could probably take the same craft, but I'm not sure if, uh, if it's even going to be worth it or if we could just like slap another booster on here not another booster but you guys know what I mean like another another boosting thing <laughs> you need a fuel depot and a moon lander oh yeah well I already have the moon lander is coming later and the miner is like the automated mining tool that's gonna go down and come back up is going to be going on later and also before I have the mining thing up I'm going to put the um, <clears throat> whatchamacallit ooh guys I have an idea should we use the 2,000 ton lift should we use the BFR it's slowing down my game I really hope it doesn't crash there we go we have 9,000 Delta V. <laughs> we have 9,000. I think that's enough. No, that's a little overkill. Um, what should we use? We have a 65 ton lift. How much does this weigh? 85 tons. Do we have just like a 100 ton lift? Something not as ridiculous. That's the new... Falcon Heavy. That's the extreme Falcon Heavy. Um, I mean, I guess we could take the same thing again. Screw it. Let's take the same thing. But this time, let's... Uh, let's put some fuel on it. Well, not this time, but let's put some fuel on it. We'll just put a smaller one. We don't need much. So this needs to be... We could use a Rhino again. Screw it. That'll work. Uh, oh, yeah. We do need a uh, fairing right here. That would help. Oop. There we go. Okay, so the second stage has 4,000... Wait. 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 This does not get used. This does not get used. That's what I thought. We have nothing anymore. Okay, so we're going to have to expand this just a little bit. There we go. That's better. A thousand. We have a thousand. So we will go to the Mun with this and then we will set our orbit more with that. All right, so we have RCS solar panels, electric charge on this thing is 16,000. So it's gonna be pretty nice, hopefully. Nah, I don't need the built-in fuel to help. That's easy. You just build bigger. And if you haven't noticed, most or all, actually, all of my crafts almost have been based off of uh, the Falcon Heavy or the Delta Four Heavy. So, just depends on what you want or what you want to go by. So, can we go right up like this? Go out a little wider. Oh, we need to cover that antenna. Stupid antenna. I could suck it back in, but... 
screw it. We're gonna have like a a TP thing ish going on. Because you don't want to like shock it with a super sharp turn, because then you're gonna end up like wasting a lot of fuel trying to fight it. No, I need to be out a little bit wider. Eh, there we go. Yeah, let's close the fairing right there so we have a uh, just a straight nose cone or just a butt end right on it. So if we put it all up here, it'll actually look really nice. So, <laughs> all right, it actually looks pretty good, guys. Uh, let's add a few more struts to this thing because I can already see that this thing is going to be super unstable. As in, when I say super unstable, I mean super unstable. So we're going to add two sets of these. So we are set to go. All right. We are ready, guys. Let's give this one a whirl. All right, let's launch. Ah, I will change the fairing color. I saw that last second. Last second, and it's dark. Ah. Okay, so back. What color did you want it? The black and white or the orange? Ooh, the black and white kind of looks a little overwhelming. That kind of looks retarded. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the black and white. The black and white looks a little better. It kind of looks like a a weird candy cane kind of thing, like a black licorice type deal, type of thing. <laughs> okay. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting. <laughs> Who gave me the dislike? Is it because I didn't have your boat? Is that it? Is it because I didn't get your boat? No, I'm just joking. Haters gonna hate. What you gonna do, man? All right, electronic charge, 16,000 fuel. Don't care, let's launch it. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, yeah. So remember about the whole thing of old parts, right? Yeah, so this was built pre-1.42. So, yeah. This craft, like on the bottom, just like the only thing that needs changed is not the whole engine just this because that is like an out-of-date part they don't even have it anymore probably because it has major issues okay let's try this again all right man good to hear good to hear Good to hear, I can always count on at least one. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, three, two, one, lift off. Right here we have uh, thrust to weight ratio, and whoa. It's still the same area. I wonder if it's this in here. No, this in here is solid. Like, that thing is not moving. It's just the bottom connection right there. So. Yeah. It looks like we need to pick a new launch vehicle for this thing. 
Alrighty then. Uh, goodbye. Okay, the next thing that we could do is we could do the 565. Ton lift. That way it gives us a little bit more wiggle room. Um, we don't necessarily need this thing. Yeah, look what's wrong with this. I don't know why, but it just, it like glitches out and it's like, I don't know. It looks terrible. Oh, I need to like just. There we go. Take this out, because we don't need that. We already have a fairy. Um, honestly, I am just going to keep that right there. Just like that, because I... Uh, I really don't want to leave it like that, but like the fairing isn't working, and it looks terrible. So, unless that's the this fairing hang on no yeah that's the super big fairing which we don't even have we don't even have vehicles or tanks big enough to handle that so yeah okay so we're not gonna add a fairing there then uh, let's grab some struts And let's come right in here. Come down. Let's add eight. Right to the edge and right to here where you're we having that issue. So that alone is probably actually going to help. I'm not even going to add any more struts. Um, we have, I do believe we have like around like 20 engines or something. <laughs> But it's not in English. All right, all right. You can fix this glitch. Oh yeah, I know, I know. It's 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 not like a huge big deal. Okay, those are the engine plates for that. That is the engine plate for that. So that can go down here, and then that just takes that off. That and then that. Okay, all right. Good to go, guys. Hopefully. It normally doesn't take too long for me to build a craft, though, because it's, like, all my stuff is based off of, like, NASA or or SpaceX, as you can see. I mean, it's just, it, it was built so well, why try to change it? I mean, of course, one, when I build outside of the box is when uh, I come up with, like, a 2,000-ton lift to orbit. And in fact, I did actually lift 200 or 2,000 tons to orbit, and it was just all fuel. It was all of these tanks just munched in together to into a ball. <laughs> okay, massive. Ooh, there's the moon. That's kind of cool. Um, in three, two, one, launch. All right. I don't see any wiggles. You guys see any wiggles? None. No more wiggles. Now we just gotta have to worry about the payload snapping off when we fucking turn like thir er, like 24 engines. Okay, so now we're gonna start turning just slightly. Oh shit, we are not turning the right direction. I don't know why it was turned around. Oh. But. Uh. Nope, that's getting worse. Why? Well, okay, what is going on? I can't normal. I can't really see because it's uh, because it's at night. So I'm gonna fast forward till the day, and then we'll launch during the day, so you guys can see too. Cause it's like it's hard for me to see. So couldn't imagine. There's the mun. Bye, mun. Ah, I didn't want to go that far. Holy shit. Okay. Revert flight three days. <laughs> to launch. Oh, jeez. <laughs>
I thought I hit the cancel button. Nope. I did not hit the cancel button. I hit go faster. Okay. And stop a little further. I want to have the sun hit this thing. A little quicker. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so instead of going left, I need to go down. That's what my mistake was. Okay, this is interesting. It's really making like a circle. <laughs> oh shit. Honestly, I can do this. If it keeps it up like this, it will be fine. Let me uh, throttle down a little bit. A little bit more. Let's kind of try to pitch down. This is so strange, guys. I've never, <laughs> I've never, <laughs> I've never tried to guide something like this into space because of just how reckless this thing is. It's wiggle, 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 wiggle. Why don't you use auto strut? Um, I didn't know that there was auto strut, and I normally do this like I'm doing pretty good right now. Give it a minute. Everything will be better in like five seconds. Uh, this is probably going to be a bad idea. Okay. Okay. Partial disaster averted. So let's throttle up a little bit and let's get back into... Uh, our rotation that we normally were in or try to okay go that way <laughs> just just go that way a little quicker come on come on there it is okay so we still have like a ridiculous amount of fuel. We're gonna take this thing off because I feel like that sometimes has something to do with it. Sometimes. So we are in a super messed up orbit because of issues and I think we just, uh, yeah, we lost the other half. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Uh, revert flight to assembly. Okay. What is this auto strut? Right click on a part and select auto strut. Yeah, I don't think it works like that unless you have that mod. I'm right clicking and I don't see anything saying auto strut. Nothing. 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 Nada. Nadu. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What could we do to fix this? Ah, get rid of this and do the five, six, nope. No, I do not want to overwrite. That would have been bad. Um, I think it's... 
Yeah, I think it's this one. I do believe it's this one. That we'll be able to do it, and it wouldn't really have that big of a problem. Um, okay. If we can't get this on this last try, then you will be seeing another episode called Part 2. Because <laughs> uh, we could just sit here and try this all day, and I'd rather... I'd rather not be sitting here all day because my butt hurts and stuff like that from sitting. <laughs> ah, okay then. That would have helped before I started the game, but... I wonder if it's the fairing, too, creating that really weird circular motion. But anyway, okay. So let's get those. Those are going first. Those are going second. And then those are going. So it's either going to get better as we go or worse as we go on. So <laughs> what we could do is just go straight up and then pitch over and then just blast and hopefully we can get into orbit that way because that is the most ridiculous way to get into orbit is to go straight up it's just it just doesn't make any sense would does nasa go straight up to go in orbit no no countdown because it's giving me shit already no no So I do believe it is the top. That is just going crazy. So I actually just had... Wait, what? Cannot deploy while stowed. Okay, good. That was great that I did that. Um, there is one other try. One more try, and then... I might end the stream. Alright, let's try it. It is this. This is probably going to dramatically change everything, but this has to work. Okay, now we just set them on top of each other and like connects. And one more. And then we just copy. Yeah, let's do it like that. And then paste. And then we're gonna strut these together. Oh. What happened? Did it strut itself? I think it strutted itself. So from there to here. There we go. And then, yeah, because auto strut would definitely come in handy, like right now. Because it would just auto strut this crap out of this thing. But we're going to strut all those together, and then we're going to strut it to here. Because I think that is the main issue, is the whole thing is just super wobbly. And it just, it just, yeah, it just doesn't want to, it just doesn't, just doesn't want to do it. And then we're actually going to add some more right here. Even if it hits the satellite dish, I don't care. Oh, it didn't even hit anything. Okay, now I care. Okay, then from there to there. No, it doesn't want to do it. Okay. So we'll ta take it from these then. We'll go from here and we'll go to there. Really? Okay, you know, that that that's fine, too. <laughs> I'll work with that. All right, so let's try this one. 
This is going to be really interesting. It's the first time I've done something like this, and if this actually does work, then holy shit, I just made history. What's moving? You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. What is actually moving? I think it's that. I think I need to get rid of that engine. Hmm. I might have to get rid of that engine, guys. Just because maybe the rhino's too big or like unstable? We'll use the Mastodon. This should do it. Uh oh that's there we go. Wait, what? Okay. I mean I guess that works. <laughs> And then to there. All right, all right. Everything seems good. Hopefully. Um, I would say, can we strut this to this? There we go. Save and launch. Okay. This is going to be interesting. And let's fast forward to daylight. You can tell when daylight's coming because the stars go away. Boom. The sun. Whoa, okay. I think I see where it is. It's the big decoupler right there. Huh. I can't believe it. I'm pretty sure it should it should work. It should be fine, but no, it just wants to death wiggle. Okay, we'll speed it up and see what happens. Death wiggle. Death wiggle. Yeah, that's what happens when you death wiggle. <laughs> yeah, wow, look at that thing just go. Okay, there is one other thing that I could possibly try. There's one other thing, and I do not want to do this on live, but you go into cheats right here, and we pick uh, unbreakable joints because there was an issue with the game earlier that I had to do that every single stream because it was just it just snapped every time when it shouldn't like this point but alright let's go see there it goes it starts wiggling I don't know why it's so strange even with the not snapping stuff and it still just wants to snap <laughs> Hey, that's the only part that's left. Okay, I guess that's enough, uh, enough failures for that one. So we're going to have to figure out another way to bring this guy into space. So it is kind of long. So what we could do 
is hmm, where are the really would that work past the solar panels and everything else possibly yeah it would all right so I think that's what I'm probably gonna do is probably just maybe grab a booster or something see you later man um, I'm not sure but we will get it up there somehow some way in some other time okay thank you for watching please leave a like and subscribe for more later